This swing trading setup was found using multiple filters in the stock screener chart mill. It is a typical growth stock whose price is currently in a narrow trading range and has the potential to break out in the coming days. Wondering how chart mill came up with this ticker? Keep watching. At the end, I'll show you a example trading setup with entry and stop loss level for this stock. As always, we start with some basic parameters. US stocks only with a price below $3 are excluded. The minimum trading volume is set at 300,000 to ensure sufficient liquidity. Since we are specifically looking for growth stocks, the search is limited to at least small caps, to mid caps at most. As far as growth stocks are concerned, everything starts with sales growth. After all, without increasing sales, there can never be sustainable earnings growth. Real growth companies have an annual sales growth of at least 20%. Another typical characteristic of growth stocks is that they are likely to trade at a higher valuation, precisely because they are expected to grow faster than the average growth rate of the market. As a filter for this, the price-to-sales ratio and not the price-to-earnings is used. The reason for this is simple. Many stocks showing signs of strong growth are just not profitable yet. With the price-earnings filter, a lot of companies with strongly increasing sales but no profits yet would be excluded from the selection. Therefore, a price-to-sales ratio of at least 5 is used. Despite the fact that profitability is not an initial requirement for growth companies, positive cash flow is. This refers to cash generated from ongoing core operations. It is an important measure to evaluate the quality and financial health of growth companies. After all, there must be a balance between revenue growth and operating cash flow growth. Therefore, a filter is established that requires growth in cash flow from operating activities of at least 15% on an annual basis. A final fundamental filter to this screen is gross profit margin. The higher this margin, the more capital can be invested in other operational areas of the company that can further increase sales and profits, for example, marketing or research and development. This filter is set to at least 40%. Such a high margin not only reduces reliance on external capital, but is also a good indication of pricing power. This refers to the ability to raise prices without a significant loss in market demand. To ensure that only stocks are selected in a long-term positive trend, a simple trend filter based on the 200 daily moving average is added. It must be rising and the price must quote above that SMA 200. Those who trade actively and mostly envision swing trades of several days to weeks can add another specific volatility filter to ensure that the stock price moves sufficiently. So let's add an average daily range filter of at least two. Using the above filters, barely 11 stocks remain from our database of more than 22,000 stocks. Now let's take a look at the results. Avepoint is a good setup. The long-term trend is bullish, and the price currently is in a narrow trading range. This one is added to the setup list. Also, TerraWolf is added. Strong uptrend and a bullish engulfing candle, where the SMA20 level acted as support. Mankind has risen quite hard in a short period of time and does not currently offer a low-risk entry. However, it is one for the watch list based on the weekly chart. ALAR drops out. This stock is in a short-term downtrend and price closed below the SMA10 on the weekly chart. Harrow is also removed. It's not a low-risk entry point at this moment. Myomo experienced an explosive rise over the past few days, and there is a chance that a high-tight flag pattern could develop here but it is rather something for the watch list. Matterport then, very clear sideways price range, the stock price is currently right in the middle. Technically not buy-worthy at the moment, but one to keep an eye on. Semrush seems to be bottoming out after an earlier decline. We may see the formation of a first higher bottom here on the daily chart as soon as the price can rise above $14. The long-term trend on the weekly chart is still intact. The price of VTEX has been moving between 6.5 and 7.5, with a double top and double bottom since May 15th. A close above 7.5 is a bullish signal and would also reaffirm the bullish long-term trend. So for now, this is also one for the watch list. YMAB's Therapeutics does not look interesting at the moment, too volatile and a negative doji candle. RX Site is not worth keeping either. A downward price trend on the daily chart with strongly increased volume. However, the SMA 200 does still act as a support level. So two setups have been retained. For Avepoint, a good entry would be as soon as the price reaches $10.52 with a limit at $10.60. Stop loss below the current swing low at 9.89.
the stop loss price is thus 6% lower than the buy price. For this example, the trading capital is set at $25,000 and the risk percentage at 0.5%. Thus, based on these parameters, the built in stock position sizing calculator automatically calculates a maximum of 198 shares, with the total investment being just over 8.3% of the available capital. For Wolf stock, the ideal entry point is just above the last bullish engulfing candle, with a stop loss below the current swing low. However, that gives a difference between the purchase price and stop loss of more than 17%, which is way too much, so that setup will not be retained. Please be advised that both setups should not be considered as actual buy recommendations. They serve purely to show how using multiple fundamental technical and volatility filters in Chartmill makes it quick and easy to arrive at effectively useful setups. Thanks for watching, and until next time.